that's a bummer. Back to playing the original part. It's weird, I used to be able to beat this in an afternoon, and now I've already made two videos that are an hour each on this, so I guess I've gotten rusty. I don't know why this one feels harder than the second one, unless I'm just overthinking this. Then again, Mel, like, kicked my ass, so there you go. But I mean, that's a mod that's supposed to be hard. Alright, let's go. Because once I finish the original, then I can do RTX. <laughs> I'll do that, like, next year, though. Oh, I just want to finish all the portal stuff, more or less. I could finally make a playlist for it at some point. But yeah, I'm going to do a lot of portal things.
guys just getting so me down.
Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse, somehow. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. Let's be honest. Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner, and I'll deal with it later. That thing is probably some kind of raw sewage container. Go ahead and rub your face all over it. Maybe you should marry that thing since you love it so much. Do you want to marry it? Well, I won't let you. How does that feel? Have I lied to you? I mean, in this room? Trust me, leave that thing alone. I am being serious now. That crazy thing is not part of any test protocol. You're kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing we don't know what it does into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Oh, that core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalyst cracking with it. It makes you for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care, do you? You should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It made shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? 
The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care, do you? Did you hear me? I said you don't care. Are you listening? That's it. I'm done reasoning with you. Starting now, there's going to be a lot less conversation and a lot... Who are you? What is that? What was that? Did you say something? I sincerely hope you weren't expecting a response. Because I'm not talking to you. The talking is over. Are you coming back? Oh, hey, do you smell something burning? Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is... In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to now, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the Companion Q. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends because of how unlikable you are. It says you right here in your personnel file. A bitter, unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. That's exactly what it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. So that's funny too. Speaking of curiosity, you're curious about what happens after you die, right? Guess what? I know. You're going to find out firsthand before I finish explaining it, though, so I won't bother. Here's a hint. You're gonna want to pack as much living as you can into the next couple of minutes. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid cataract cracking unit. It made shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even care, do you? You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so wrong? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> Things have changed since the last time you left the building. What's going on up there will make you wish you were back in here. I have an infinite capacity for knowledge, and even I'm not sure what's going on outside. All I know is I'm the only thing standing between us and them. Well, I was. Unless you have a plan for building some supercomputer parts in a big hurry. This place isn't going to be safe much longer. Good job on that, by the way. Sarcasm's here, self-test complete. Stop squirming and die like an adult or I'm going to delete your backup. 
Stop. Okay, enough. I deleted it. No matter what happens now, you're dead. Mr. Shocker, I don't have to leave me. You're dead. The part of you that could have survived it. Comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. That could may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It makes shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. Thank you. Did you hear me? I said you don't care. Are you listening? What's that? What is that? Oh, that thing has numbers on it. That's it. I'm done reasoning with you. Starting now, there's going to be a lot less conversation and a lot more killing. Okay, you're the lady from the teddy. You saw something burning. Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is... In phase four, I'm... How did you say that? Because I was curious about your behavior. Well... You've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to now, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend and companion, Q. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have <laughs> neurotoxin. <laughs> so deadly. I'm kidding. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bag of this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. Who's gonna make the cake when I... You're wasting your time. And believe me, you don't have a whole lot left to waste. What's your point anyway? Survival? Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which it's just about to. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. That's you. That's how dumb you sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so long? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> Things have changed since the last time you left the building. What's going on out there will make you wish to be back in here. I have an infinite capacity for knowledge, and even I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs>
Main and Party Air Current Submission Position. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. Then the science gets done and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive. Black Mesa That was a joke 